Hi y'all, Tracy Charles Long here, girl here. I am going to try a vintage recipe. Um, I purchased several years ago a recipe from, or a recipe book from 1914. There are some recipes that we found in there that actually came later. Uh, my son, or my husband actually sourced one that was from 1934. Um, but the one that I'm doing today is handwritten. Um, as I was going through the instructions, I realized that there are no instructions. She has the ingredients listed, which I have taken a picture of and have it on my phone so that I don't have to, um, touch the book or tear it up any more than it already is because uh, some of my pages are falling apart. Anyway, I thought I would take you along. For this recipe, we are going to need two eggs, two cups of flour, approximately a half a cup of milk, but she says whatever it is that you need to make a stiff batter, a uh, half a cup of peanut butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and I believe it was a half a cup of sugar or less. Um, so I am going to start getting everything together um, and I'll be back. Hi y'all, Tracy Charles of Long Haired Girl here. I, this is, <laughs> this is peanut butter bread round two. Um, I had started this and as I was going through the footage I was not very happy with the footage so we're redoing it um, basically the only big change is that I am using the crunchy peanut butter versus the um, creamy peanut butter that was in my blog post and that is in the picture um, or that is in my Instagram post and in the picture um, on my blog. I have already put salt and baking powder um, two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. There is a half a cup I weighed it out um, versus putting it in a measuring cup. Um, in this bowl I have already put two cups of flour and a half a cup of sugar. And y'all I can't find a whisk so we're going in with a fork. with the salt and the baking powder. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any lumps. Okay. And because she gives no instructions, peanut butter out of this cup. And 
I'm wearing gloves to work on this bread because I cut my fingers yesterday while I was trying to quickly uh, do a makeshift something for my Sunday school class. So, yeah. And it kind of burns when I am when I have to wash my hands or whatever so I am trying not to expose them any more than I have to okay so now I'm just kind of trying to work my flour mixture in with my eggs and peanut butter And then I'm going to, this would probably work better if I had a whisk, but I do not. So, we'll make do with a fork. Okay, and as I learned from experience last time, um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the entire half a cup of milk. I did not put all of it last time, and I wound up um, with kind of a dry, crumbly bread. In her recipe, she actually says up to a half a cup um, because she wanted it to make a stiff dough. And while my last attempt at this was um, pretty sticky, it uh, was very dry. So. My hope is by adding the entire half a cup that it will not be as dry this time. Okay, what she specifically what she has in the recipe is two cups of flour. One tea, or sorry, two teaspoons of uh, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of sugar or less, a half a cup of peanut butter, two large eggs, and milk to make a stiff batter, up to a half a cup. But like I said, when I did it last time, it was um, very dry. It was good, but it was dry. Um, so definitely still a sticky batter. And last time also, I had a little trouble with it sticking on the bottom. I'm just going to add just a little bit of flour, so hopefully it won't stick.
because I am that girl that doesn't want to waste any batter. what it looks like going in again because I did this once already um, I don't expect it to rise just a ton but we should be ready in about an hour So I will see you back then. Okay friends, now it is time to take the bread out of the oven. Hmm. Okay, well I feel like this one definitely rose a little higher than the last one. stuck worse this time than last time. Perhaps I should have let it cool a little bit before, but I'm impatient. Are you this? Love, would you like to come taste for the camera? Okay. This one stuck worse. Hi, internets. Yeah, definitely rose better than the first one. It's good. Yeah. Hmm. I approve this message. I go. So, I have made the adjustments on my blog post to show, um, and I will actually. Take a picture because I said I would. Anyway, if you make this, I hope you enjoy it. I know there are different variations on the internet. I have actually found some that have completely different proportions. Um, the two cups is the two cups of flour is the same, but one shows Cairo syrup and a bigger or a one cup of peanut butter rather than a half a cup, four teaspoons of baking powder versus the two that my recipe calls for. But I wanted to be true to this recipe. That's why I made it this way. Anyway, if you try it, I hope you enjoy it. I think this one is actually better than the first one. Um, I will see you next time, and just in case you're hearing it from all directions, I know I did at one point in my life, you are enough. Don't feel overwhelmed by everything else that goes on. Know you are enough. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.